Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna focus on Seller Sprite's review analysis feature. This is one of the best ways to study what is already selling on Amazon, focus on what they're doing well, and almost more importantly, focus on what they're not doing well. See if you can implement a solution in your product so that you can disrupt whatever market, whatever niche you are looking to enter. The reviews analysis feature literally uses AI to study what they're doing well, what they're doing uh, not well, you know what I mean? Because obviously the customer feedback comes with a star review system and we know what a positive review looks like. We also know what a negative review looks like. That is all gonna be wrapped up and delivered in an easy to digest format by Seller Sprite in their reviews analysis feature, which I'm gonna walk you through in this video. So let's get to it. So unlike my previous videos on Seller Sprite, where we operated exclusively in the web app, today we need to grab their Chrome extension. They actually also made an extension for Microsoft Edge users. I personally, as a former web developer, definitely prefer Google Chrome. So I went ahead and I installed that on my computer. Installing a Chrome extension, guys, is one click. It is very simple. And then you will need to sign in at some point after using the Chrome extension. So now go to Amazon catalog, go to the listing that you would like to do a reviews analysis on, whether it's your own product, most likely it's gonna be your competitor's product for research purposes. Um, you can see here, it injects this table of data up at the top. There's various things you can look at. I went ahead and clicked AI review analysis. And next, if you're not logged in, I think it, this is where it asks you to log into your Seller Sprite account. By the way, use the link in the description. You can get a free trial. Then go ahead and click Seller Sprite analysis report. Once you've done that, you'll be able to navigate back into the web app to your review analysis section. If you don't know how to get here, up at the top under tools, you should be able to see review analysis. All right, under listing optimization and extension features. And it might take a minute or two while it reads all of the reviews of the product. I've actually, you know, looked at products that have, in this case, it has 1600. It, it took less than a minute to read in all of that data, but there are products on Amazon with tens of thousands of reviews. It might take a little bit longer. It all depends, okay? <laughs> but as you can see behind me, we have the product data loaded up. And right here over my other shoulder, if I click this um, chart button, it says view review analysis report. Go ahead and click that. And now we get to access the advanced report based on all the review data over 1600. I mean, imagine what we can learn from just this one product, let alone there are a bunch of similar products on Amazon. So right now we're looking at just this one, but there's potential for I mean, we could literally launch the number one garlic press in the world if we take in all the feedback from the um, people that have purchased it and taken time out of their day to provide valuable reviews. Honestly, I think the negative reviews tend to be the more valuable ones. So up here, you can see at the top table, uh, the variations of this product. So it comes in different color variations and you can actually see the, uh, well, you can see the variation right here in the second column. If there's a different price associated with that variation, um, they all share a, a, a BSR. You can see the sub ASIN associated with that variation. And you can see the number of ratings associated with each variation. So we actually know that the silver color is most likely the most popular because it has basically two times as many reviews as even the second most popular. However, in terms of star ratings reviews, it looks like the Imperial silver color has a higher average review. So that's interesting to note. Uh, and the black one only has 17 reviews to date, but average five star on one review. Okay, that's why one review. Um, also, you can see review ratio. So sales divided by number of reviews. And it's interesting that the, the silver and imperial silver have such a higher review ratio. That is definitely um, an interesting tidbit there. So next up, you have the option of leveraging Shulex, the Shulex AI. I, I did a previous video on that one. I hope you guys go check that out as well. It was really cool. They've got an integration with Shulex VOC to provide the AI support to analyze these reviews. I already clicked the button to run this report. If you are looking at this product for the first time, just go ahead and click once. It will generate this report for you. It only takes a second. What you can see initially is that these reviews are generated 40% from males, 60% from females. You can see it, it data mines these reviews for things like, who is this? Okay, they're home cooks, they're chefs, they're food bloggers. That is who is 
speaking through these reviews. When are they reviewing? You know, we're talking about a garlic press here. We know it's used in the kitchen. They're using it during meal prep, during cooking, and during baking. Where are they using it? In home kitchens, in professional kitchens, and in RVs or camping. Like, some of these keywords could be easy to overlook that you would want to sprinkle into your product listing as well, beyond just the planning of the product itself and what features to add. Uh, what are they talking about? To easily mince garlic, to save time and effort, probably mincing garlic, and to avoid the smell of garlic, okay? The usage scenario, by the way, these have these little icons up here, these little square icons. When you click them, you can pop these out and get a full view. So people are talking about topics, peeling fruits and vegetables, uh, essential kitchen tools, dishwasher safe, general kitchen use, food prep, customer expectations. So what expectations do we need to meet and like, what do we need to make sure we convey in our listing details, like the bullet points, for instance, is a nice way to convey, uh, convey or, you know, and, or I should say in your A plus content, you know, those big images, those speak to customers. People love those. Those show a higher conversion rate on Amazon when you have the A plus content. So these are the types of things you want to meet when you're adding the A plus content or bullets. Topics are ease of use, quality, smooth peeling, safety, and size. And it actually tells you like customers have found that certain features such as effective press for vertical, vertical positioning, make the peeler easy to use, etc. So it goes more in depth. You can see the pros here, easy to use for garlic mincing. It's durable, well-made, effective. You can see the cons, don't skip this part, because if, you if you're in the pre-plan phase for your product, you wanna improve on what your competitors are not doing well, okay? That's the easiest way to disrupt a market, in my opinion. Uh, poor quality, customers have reported poor quality with the blade or handle breaking easily and becoming unusable. So obviously there's leverage involved with a garlic press. If they put too much pressure on it and the handle is not sturdy, it can snap. Take that into consideration when you make yours, if you're selling garlic presses, right? Beyond that, ineffective peeling, difficult to clean. So perhaps if you have a solution for that, difficult to use, interesting, and uncomfortable grip. So maybe a little um, silicone grip, you know what I mean? It doesn't. It didn't look to me like this one. Okay, it does have a silicone grip. On one side, maybe you do a double-sided silicone grip, right? We're just, we're kind of going you know, off the cuff here. Uh, purchase motivations, let's just read through these. High quality and good value, easy to use, sharp and efficient, sturdy and made well. Also, there is a percentage assigned to each of these. It's not just saying these are all equal, right? It's saying that 31% say easy to use, whereas 8% said effective, 11% said made well. So, I mean, it's not just like this is one size fits all when you read through these, okay? So you can see the ratio, um, the, the review ratio essentially, so five star, makes up 78.4% of all reviews, four star, 13.2%. So they definitely have, you know, a huge positive review uh, bank uh, for as long as this product has been sold on Amazon. I would consider four to five stars positive reviews, three neutral and one or two as negative. Uh, in terms of one star reviews, 2.2%, two star review, 1.6%. The high level features here based on the reviews that are public, sturdiness is associated with a lot of the 4.7 star reviews, easy to use, 4.7 star, Ergonomic, 4.5, easy to clean, associated with 4.4 star reviews. You can actually split the ratings by type. So do they have picture reviews, video reviews, VP or Amazon Vine, et cetera. Um, the ratings broken down by variant. And depending on the product you're looking at, if there's no variations, you probably won't even see this table. Um, one thing worth noting too is over here on the right-hand side, you can actually split this over a time frame. So they're checking the reviews and, and sorting by the date of the review, the date of the customer review, because sometimes the people selling these products can make changes to the product itself and uh, you wouldn't really know, but you might see the average review from two years ago be, you know, three star and then the average review from the last six months be five star because they made some positive change. So I just wanted to show you that you can actually sort on the left hand side by the time frame. And then again, it'll split it by variant if they exist. Um, you can see the growth trend of the reviews okay over time and you again can split it by the various variations we know that the black color is the newest color that they launched with only one review it's most likely been out of stock as well I'm guessing that's why it only has one review uh, it looks like the rose gold as well is uh, relatively new just based on the dates associated with these reviews etc you can break it down by uh, they, they call this the review world map but you can actually kind of drill down into what phrases are included and they're gonna actually select the phrases for us, but there's another place right here above my head where we can actually provide our own search terms as well. But you can see kind of like the keyword density contained in reviews. So garlic press is very common, presses the garlic, very common, easy to use, very common, easy to clean, very common, 
garlic cloves works great well made chopping garlic um dishwasher safe hard to clean so if we want to see hard to clean reviews we can click this button and now it's only showing us reviews that include hard to clean i said i like to focus on the more negative reviews this is a nice way of drilling down and skipping past all the other reviews again also we can filter by the one star only two star only etc that's also on the table we could even do three and click filter all right that's another way of doing it so now we're combining hard to clean with reviews three stars or less and as you can see here it only yields us two reviews out of the 1600 on this product listing so there's a lot of ways to really drill down into this information seller sprites got it all in their amazon product database um, it, they don't actually have this by default. Remember when we came with the Chrome extension installed and we told it to run a report, that's when it goes and it pulls all the data that we then are able to drill down into here. So let me reset this. I will undo these. I will uncheck hard to clean. I'm going to click filter. And I just wanted to let you know that again, you can filter by these various, um, repetitive phrases. Like it's relevant phrases. I should say that they're seeing repetition of up there at the top, for instance, garlic press in 51 of the reviews. Uh, you can go down here, reviews by type and sort by, you know, video reviews only if you wanted to, and then check out the videos. You can check by variations. You know, they had the variations filter, which I think is pretty sharp of seller sprite to include that because I mean, if we're sourcing a product and we're just launching something, we're probably not launching multiple variations for a product right out of the gate. I mean, I've been doing FBA since 2017, really since 2016, but my first sales came into early 2017. I launched a single SKU initially, and then I expanded that using a color variation similar to this product you see behind me. I'm not going to say what I was selling, but it was not garlic presses. And I, but I started with just one, right? So I didn't need to see all these. Um, I don't need to see data for all of them, but if I'm looking to launch my first garlic press, just based on the data we see on this page alone, I'm probably going to going to want to launch a silver one or potentially Imperial silver. Okay. Oh, those are my dogs behind me. If you heard them, they say hello. Uh, Beyond that, guys, there's additional filters here. Like you can sort by date. You can sort by descending, ascending. You can sort by helpful, ascending, descending. You can filter by date down here. You can filter by uh, what keywords were contained also as well. So if we want to say something like um, stainless, right? Like stainless steel, go ahead, filter by that. And it looks like the word stainless is only contained in two reviews, but both are five star guys. That's really it for the reviews analysis. Seller Sprite knocked it out of the park with this. It's such a nice way of doing market research, but leveraging software and AI, thanks to Shulix and their integration with them, to get an insight, get extremely valuable insights based on real user feedback. Like normally they would have to conduct market research studies for this type of information and pay thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars. We're getting it just because Amazon is a public forum and with the help of the Seller Sprite software, we're getting it like all this packaged up nicely and neatly for us in an easy to digest manner. We just looked at a single product listing. If you're going to enter Amazon and invest your own money into your own private label product or whatever it is, wholesale, print on demand, whatever, it's amazing to be able to learn from what your competitors are doing well and what they are struggling to do well. And again, you go in there, disrupt the market by improving on it. And uh, I, I just love it, guys. I love this tool. You can check it out. It's linked in the description grab the Chrome extension. You can install that for free. And it does give you some valuable insights that you don't even need a, an account to pay for, right? Like it was showing us things like the FBA fees at a glance, just for having the Chrome extension installed. You can go to any product listing on Amazon and view some valuable insights just for doing a one-click installation of the Chrome extension. But guys, that's the seller Sprite reviews analysis. I hope you found it helpful. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe on your way out and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.